Just like that, when we are walking up there, a young man turned and told the mother, Mommy, just compare this place. What difference between here and the heaven? Some people here can get no difference. So the president and the NOC, before I will say something on your address, I want to thank you for bringing us here. This area has just uh, exposed us, opened our eyes, and uh, the past certain thing that when we go home, we now be discussing with our priests and our bishops on what to do. We have delivered a very wonderful address. Yes, not now we say more than what you have said. Thank you. See you go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So on this note, we want to call on the resource person who is also in our midst to please come to the item, Reverend Father Charles Anapo. Please.
So, uh, Doc is going to talk to us on pro strength. Pro strength, you know, that is the, the, the best problem. So, you listen very attentively. So, Doc will introduce himself very well to you. Thereafter, he will now go with the talk. So, Doc. CMO, my respected uh, Reverend Fathers of the High Temple, and the Sigmundian, the German, the professional CMO, other guests of the High Temple, my fellow Christian men here present. As a good one to all of us. I am Honorable Dr. Ogorie as Linus. They call me Dr. Shia all over the place. I am a trained medical doctor. I trained at the University of Iman. We have my obtained my bachelor's degree in medicine and surgery. Thereafter, I went to the Nigerian Postgraduate Medical College where I qualified as a specialist family physician. Thereafter, I went to St. Paul, Paul the Second Institute in Nebraska, America, where I also qualified as a fertility care medical consultant. I am a Catholic, both by birth and by practice. And I am, by the mercy of God, a knight of the Noble Order of St. John International. If there is any of us, I just want to say, Hey! Yeah. We give away the whole time they shake it. They will buy one of them. Today, I have not been legally invited two days ago to deliver a message on this problem, also a mess problem, on the issue of prostate. I have not said that uh, having introduced myself and to tell the audience, I'm saying that I want to thank the organizers of this forum for this opportunity given to me and given to all of us to come and discuss the prostate gland which today is the most common center of discussion among men. And it is always called, I'm sure I'm not going to be in the school, it is called the men's problem. It is the men's problem indeed because prostate only have, only men have prostate. I mean, who are that one who might ask what men can do, women can do better, or who can have prostate. Women don't have prostate in life. It is a men's problem in that cause of prostate gland issues that the most common discussed if one in which open up any social media today, they can have claims and counter claims on the issue of prostate. And then we have many blood tests, and then we have many popo, and then we have many shower and shop, and all these things that are the body supplements. Oh no, no, prostate has got prostate has. So you can see things that it is even one of the most discussed and overconfused topics around us now. I say it is a men's problem that most men who have a renal problem, particularly when they have renal retention, they might not be late. Mamma Bashir might go with prostate. When somebody has urinary retention in the village, 
The next thing they will say is that Patala is Shumai. I saw Patala is Shumai. They may not even know it is not an infection. You can afford to be patient. You there, are, there are expressions that must go to you. It is a less problem. Let's clap for him. That even today, even today, even today, it is only the wind that we are in the source of this world that has no woman here. Even today, it is only the wind that we are in the source of this world that has no woman here. So that is it is a men's problem. But the truth remains that prostate problems, enlargement, cancer and infection, which hitherto was not known around here, is now the commonest problem in men and the third most common cancer in man. This may be because of all the increases in this end time. This is all about heads. Share the video. It's all about heads. Share it. Is it that we are forgetting the food and the heads God gave us as food and mercy and are not eating the Yubo man's food and living the Yubo man's last time and that is why we are not also suffering the Yubo man's diseases. We ask ourselves, have we now overchanged our traditional lifestyles that is bringing this forth? This lecture is caused very, very hard so that we can appraise ourselves whether we are living the life of the Egyptians, that is, we are eating the food of the Egyptians. Daniel in the Bible was born not to eat the king's food. Or what is happening? Is it a very coincidence? The truth remains that prostate and these problems are adding the main food. So this meeting is good and I wish it will be a discussion meeting rather than a lecture. What is a prostate gland? The prostate gland is a one of sign. Great common organ, located just below the bladder and in front of the rectum. The Igbo people here, if you see the Oropa, you have seen the prostate gland. Unlike most organs in the body, the prostate gland is surrounded by a single capsule made up of layers of connective tissue. Hence, this propensity to grow even in old age. Many organs in the body, they have thin fibrous covers. Even the liver that is soft, even the spleen that is soft, 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 Many organs in the body have this thick fibrous covering that try, try to prevent them from enlarging. But the prostate gland, the way God made it, has not got that type of covering. So it has the ability to grow and continue to grow even in old age. While many organs in the body are shaking with age, the prostate gland grows with age. We are saying that the age of the that is the truth, the mind that carries access to the outside as we do this prostate gland also. The prostate gland matures at puberty and they continue to grow after the age of 50 and above. Has the prostate gland any functions in the body? The answer is yes. The prostate gland is not a vestigial organ in the body. It produces the seminal fluid that helps to nourish the stem cells and make them more active. Without the prostatic fluid from the seminal vesicles, 
most accepts will not, they will die even before you, you, you release them. So the stamp cells feed on the cross on the stamina feed produced partly produced by the prostate gland. And that is that most men who have undergone prostatectomy, whose prostate has been removed, they find it difficult to uh, uh, to pregnant to, to, uh, women. The outer layer of the prostate gland produces you that duplicates the urethra. The urethra, the urethra according is the, 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 the part that, that we are there, the appendix, the that to be appendix from, from through which you pass it to the outside. Produces you that duplicates it. If that urethra is dry, you may not pass to it. If the urethra is dry, like during our time, when the place dries up, if you pass through it, you will feel severe pain. So it is this prostate gland that produces the fluid that duplicates the urethra so that urine and urine flows as if nothing is happening. The prostate gland helps to produce male sex hormones that help in fertility. They produce sex hormones, it's not what I'm here. Maybe in another nature when we shall discuss main fertility and infertility. You will not know how the prostate gland, the fluid the prostate gland produces that helps in fertility. But just know that the prostate gland produces hormones that help in male fertility. It also helps to regulate urine flow. Without the prostate gland, Many of us may not hold the urine until you get to the toilet. Sometimes, you know, holding urine is a conscious step. But without effective prostate gland, it becomes an unconscious, a general small child. When urine wants to go, it will just flow out of this room. But we that have graduated control of urine to the, soul, to the conscious step, it is a contraction of the prostate gland that helps you to hold your urine when you are pressed, otherwise the thing will just go out of this way. The most part issues of the prostate help improve the force of ejaculation. Like I'm saying, I'm a fertility care consultant. Many men find it difficult to pregnant women because they may not ejaculate high up into the vagina. And I'm talking to adults. Many men find it difficult to break that to women because they 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 don't deposit their sperm and just at the opening of the vagina. But it is this prostate gland that makes you to that if you release good sperm, it can move up to even most of what to do three feet away from you. It is a contraction of the prostate muscles that cause that cause of ejaculation. So now let us not just the history and the, of the prostate and its functions. We are not talking about the problems of the prostate, and that is why we are here. I just want to discuss three main problems of the prostate, as the major ones. The first one is infection. Like any other organ in the body, the prostate gland can get infected by either virus or Spiral pizza, bacteria, or even protozoa organisms. Just know that, like any other organ of the body that can be infected, the prostate gland can also be infected. Jam can enter the prostate gland. And when jam enters the prostate gland, we call it prostatitis. Don't bother about that. The infection can lead to prostatism. Prostatism is a system where it is what happens to you. We are sitting here now. You have that part to your event. Automatically you are forced to run because if you don't run, you will just soil your dress. You rush the toilet to your event. Only three, four, five months or you will come back. You will stay there for another three minutes. No one is coming again. You will zip up. By the time you come back to see that, that that much again to go and event. We call it prostatis. And as a unit is coming, you may feel some death. We call it prostatis. And it 
it is worse in the night. The prominent cause of it is when you have an infected prostate gland. I think in prostatitis, they are the same in the peridium. The peridium is the tissue here between the diastrotum and the anus. That body tissue between the diastrotum and the anus is called the peridium. So when you have prostate infection, you may have them in the peridium.